And then there was the time Rainbow Dash called my Cloud Cell Couture Boutique idea impractical! Imagine that! Just because I needed Twilight to perform the butterfly wing spell on me whenever I wanted to deliver merchandise. And I told her a thousand times, Pegasi don't even want restrictive heavy dresses. We need to be able to fly, duh. Not to mention the day I was wearing a really gorgeous hat. And Rainbow Dash didn't even notice. The Wonderbolt show was ruined. Rarity's hat was blocking every pony's view. Enough! Guidance counseling is for talking out your problems, not telling me everything that's ever happened in the history of Equestria. <sighs> but I've learned sometimes talking isn't enough. You need to put yourselves in one another's shoes. No way am I wearing those. Ugh. What I'm saying is we need a way to help you to reconnect. Follow me. The library? And this helps us how? You both love books. Rainbow Dash never stops talking about Daring Do adventures, and you're a huge fan of Shadow Spade Mysteries. Your point? The perfect way for you two to reconnect as friends is to read each other's favorite book. I'll read them too. Then we'll all discuss afterward. It'll be a good friends book club, okay? I'll bring snacks. Ugh, fine, if you insist. Great, we're all here. To start, why don't you two share one thing you liked about each other's books? Okay, I'll go first. Uh, I really enjoyed the part in Daring Do and the Razor of Dreams when Daring used a vicious Cragodile as a raft, and then... <laughs> Please? Uh, what's so funny? Oh, sorry. It's just that I find those action sequences so ridiculously over the top. But they're real. You even met Daring Do. Yes, but the book's descriptions just drag on. And what about all those silly, unpronounceable names? Dr. Hoosie, what's it? Caballero. Caballero! Just like it looks! How hard is that? A tea, any pony? Cucumber sandwich? <laughs> or we could go over some nice, friendly talking points. <laughs> Seriously? Don't even get me started on those clothing descriptions in Shadow Spade. What a yawn fest! The outfit descriptions are an integral part of the plot of the cult in Crimson, a Shadow Spade mystery. <sighs> you see, if you didn't know that Sir Fluffingsworth von Radishfield wears only silk double-breasted waistcoats, you'd never deduce that he, in fact, was a culprit. Wait, he was? <gasps> you didn't even read it! I can see I'm gonna need reinforcements. <laughs> Not my fault it's so boring it put me to sleep. If you can't be bothered to read the thing I like, that just further illustrates the point that we have nothing in common anymore. <gasps> At least we agree on that. From now on, I'm only hanging out with ponies who get me. <gasps> Your drama can wait. Twilight needs help. Now!